Hi guys, hope you're having a great day. Um, this is as good as we're gonna get here. Let me know if the steering wheel really bothers you. Um, I just got coffee. Today is my last day in Texas for the week because tomorrow I go to Fort Worth to go to Hotel Drover and then after that I leave for New York for the live show and I'm so excited. I'm getting nervous, but I'm excited. Today is gonna be a nice little prep day. I've been working all morning, I worked out and now I'm about to go get a facial. Then I'm getting my nails done. Then I'm getting my hair done and then I'm coming home and then I'm packing fully planning out all the outfits, doing all that. So I thought I would take y'all along for a little pack with me, like prep for a trip vlog. Got my favorite Starbucks just now, it's almost noon. The order is on a Instagram highlight of mine, but it's a grande iced coffee, two pump sugar free vanilla, no classic with a splash of oat milk. It sounds like way more dramatic than it is, but it's my favorite coffee order. And if you're ever in line, don't forget it's a highlight. I get DMs all the time about it and I feel bad because I don't see them in time. So I saved it as a highlight to my Instagram as like my Starbucks order. So then you can just like have it when you're in line ordering. But anyways, really good. I'm gonna go to Skin Farm. I'm getting the golden facial. My skin is actually like really clearing up. I have been sharing that I've just been breaking out pretty bad recently, but um, I'm actually feeling really good about my skin. I went back to using like a bunch of old products that I like trusted and I'm feeling good about it. Also, I get, I've been getting the core model breakout, so I'm like no longer on my cycle. But anyways, um, if you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok. Um, that's gonna give you like more real time content and stuff. I'm just like so excited for the next week. I'm nervous. I've been really anxious. Like I was a ball of anxiety yesterday. I couldn't even vlog. Um, and I don't necessarily know if it's about the live show because I don't, I'm like nervous, but I'm not like that nervous really. I have just been like really anxious all week. I kind of get anxiety when I'm traveling again though. So I've been home for like three weeks and that's nice and I'm like never home for three weeks So maybe that's what it is. Anyways, um, I'm taking y'all with I'm really excited going to skin farm um, You guys are gonna like love it. It's the cutest office ever. I'll show y'all Guys, this is really, this is literally the most beautiful office I've ever seen in my entire life. Like, it is just so perfect. And you guys have such a great view, too. It's so green. It's just like the most beautiful place ever. I look a little bit crazy. I got the golden fusion facial down my neck and on my face. I go to Lauren. Literally all of my friends in Dallas go to her and we didn't even plan it. And then like pretty much every influencer here too. She's so cool. I love her. She's very calming. Like she almost gives me weirdly like Casey Musgraves energy. Anyways, she's great. Love her. Skin Farm is beautiful. Um, I get facials there normally, and then I still do uh, like Botox and my injections with Chelsea, but at like another place. Anyways, I'm going to get my nails done. I'm now going to a door. I've changed my nail place. Big steps for me, guys. You know when you go to a nail salon and it's really like overwhelming and stressful and like kind of loud? I went here like two weeks ago, and it was the best experience. My nails looked so good and like held up so well. Um, and before that I started having problems with where I was going. I'm so low maintenance with nail salons. Like I will just do random walk-ins. I don't really care that much. But now that I went to um, a door, like I'll never be able to look back. So anyways, my buttons on my top keep breaking. So I'm gonna flash the city of Dallas soon. Anyways, I'm gonna head off. Just like redness and stuff. I can't wear makeup or sweat for the next 24 hours, which is fine. Um, I was gonna work out in the morning, but I guess I can't now. So anyways. All right, I just finished in and out in 45 minutes. Unbelievable. They do such, first off, my face feels weird, but they do such a good job in the shortest amount of time. And if you live in Dallas, everyone hates getting their nails done. It's like the worst experience ever. It's like, it takes forever. It's overwhelming. It's just like a really stress. It's weird to say it's a stressful environment unless you understand. Maybe I just go to stressful nail places. Anyways, it takes so much of your time. And I'm telling you, it literally took 45 minutes for a manicure and pedicure. Taking dip and gel off, putting a new one on. I mean, these are my real nails, so I don't do like a set or anything like that, but I just can't believe how short it was. That was like the shortest period ever.
got home from the salon. My dinner has arrived. All right, so obviously my face still looks a little bit intense from my facial. Um, it's just like the golden fusion facial from Skin Farm, but it's supposed to make me glow. Very excited for that. And then for my hair, I just got my extensions moved up. I just have extensions for more of like um, fullness. And then I got a root melt and a little bit of a haircut just like so it looks healthier. <sighs> um, so finally I'm back at 6 p.m. I have a lot of packages to unbox. I have dinner to eat and then I have to pack for the next two trips and get all those outfits together. But I just realized that one of my packages hasn't arrived yet. So I'll figure that out. One sec. I just finished the JLo documentary first off. It's 8 p.m. I'm still not used to it being so light outside. Anyways, um, if you know me, I don't watch shows or like movies or documentaries really ever. It's very, very, very rare that I do. I watched it. I couldn't stop watching it. I put off the rest of what I had to do tonight, which I'm already stressed. Finished it. It was only like an hour and a half. I cried. That was so good. I also have like, always loved J-Lo, but this gave me like a whole new appreciation for J-Lo. So I feel like when all of her like other relationship stuff was happening i was like younger you know i didn't really know and i grew up like watching her movies and i just always loved her obviously she's a powerhouse and like unbelievably successful but just everything that she's even done just to, like get back is so cool so anyways really good definitely recommend show you my little revolve haul i'm gonna link everything and then we're gonna get to planning my outfits um okay the first thing i have i got three new pairs of heels as if i needed more i already am running out of room here but honestly, like some of them are gonna just go back. And I just got these blue ones. So I mean like whatever. But first pair I got are these LPA heels. I have them in black. You guys have probably seen me wear them before. Because I wear them all the time. They're the most comfortable heels ever. And it actually gives you a lot of height. But I wanted these for summer. They have another color too. I forget the color. Oh, pink. And they have two more colors. I want the pink ones too. They're the best heels ever. Again, I'm a wimp when it comes to heels. So if I recommend a heel, keep in mind that I'm recommending it from being like a baby and not being able to like walk in heels and just crying and being a wimp, like I said. My recommendation should really go a long way. Also, why is my light not turning on in here? Hello? I don't know why the light's not turning on. Okay, whatever. Um, I got these like little, um, they're not, these are kitten heels, but they feel a little bit more than kitten heel. These pink ones, I thought these were super cute. So this half for summer, um, really good for going out because again, there's barely a heel. Oh, okay. Like I said, I almost just fell out. Yeah, like barely even a heel. I mean, I'm gonna have to have a tan on. I'm gonna self tan after this. Really, really cute. And these are Song of Style. I love Song of Style, by the way. Like half the stuff I get from Revolve, I love is Song of Style. Then I got these Ray heels that are little wrap ups. Again, not a crazy heel, but I just thought these were so cute. So I got these two. Um, and hopefully I'll be kind of done. I just like my heel collection is really out of control. It's crazy how I don't have enough room for shoes. That is actually ridiculous on my end. Anyways, I'm gonna do a little bit of a haul. We are, all right, I'm not doing this top justice at all because I don't wanna zip it off and up and I don't wanna take off my bra. You get the vision, like it's really cute. It's House of Harlow. Again, I would prefer this with the tan. I prefer everything with the tan pretty much, but really cute top but i just can't like i can zip it but i'm just not going to right now so okay this top i love i love this color really cute i would not wear a bra with it um but it's still like actually i don't know we'll see but really cute top i also like that it has like this corset vibe right here um like super lightweight cute the thing is like having a bigger chest really sucks a lot of the time because we, it's like you can't it feels like you can't wear certain things or like it looks like you're like trying not trying, that's not a bad thing, but like, sometimes I just like don't feel comfortable with my chest like fully out and I'm not trying to be, it's just like how things fit. But obviously there's bigger problems in the world, so. Anyways, um, these are obviously supposed to go like down more, but I think I'd wear it more up like this. Okay, but on the topic of having like larger chest, it's hard to wear strapless stuff. And this tube top is like amazing. First off, the quality is incredible. Second, it's actually staying, like it's so cute. Oh my God, I can't get over it. I love this top. This is gonna be something I wear like all the time. It's from Weekend Stories. Unbelievable. I can't, I cannot recommend this top enough. Like I'm actually obsessed. I'm so glad I got it. All right, again, this strapless top. This is actually a bodysuit. So good. And it has like a sticky thing here that really like keeps it up. It's not falling down literally at all. These are actually really cute with the 
Ryan Hampton and Okai that are coming out later this month, but I mean, it's just so cute and it's perfect for summer. I actually might wear this this weekend in New York, like when we're shopping or something, but I love this. Like, it's so cute. All right, I have this outfit, which I'm going to wear to dinner on Saturday night, I think. It's super cute. How does it seem like I didn't fix the back or anything, but it like swoops down like this and then you have a little like, buckle here as well. I'm going to wear it like... Just like platform heels with it. Um, it's super cute, really lightweight. It's really good for summer. So fun. Like it's just like a normal thing, but thank God it has that. Anyways, oh, just messed that up. But I'm definitely wearing this out one night in New York this weekend. It's like, love. Okay, this dress, I kind of hate it. And I kind of hate it on the site too. I love it, but I also hate it and I can't decide. And I'm going for more of like a almost like tacky country. Basically, okay, my friend Trey is opening up for Kid Rock. And that's like really soon. So this is more of like a tacky rhinestone cowgirl kind of vibe. Um, this is House of Harlow again. And I thought it would just be cute because my friend Trey is opening for Kid Rock here in like a few weeks. And so when I saw it, I was like, that would actually be kind of fun to wear. But I do kind of hate it. So, like, I don't know. But picture this with more of a, like, bombshell Barbie look and cowboy boots. I feel like it's a little bit long, honestly. But again, because I just, like, I scrub myself and I have no tan at all on right now. It makes everything feel weird. And I would obviously just, like, wear spanks right here. My underwear is showing. But part of me, like, does like it a lot. And the other part of me hates it. Like, it's either hideous. Or I like it, but I feel like if I wore it right, it would be like a really fun thing to wear to a country concert. But like, I don't know. I really don't know. You guys let me know, but be nice. Like, I feel like it is ugly, but like, I like it. I don't know. All right, this dress is LPA, which I was originally thinking maybe for Fort Worth tomorrow, but like the length that it cuts off at, I, I don't want to wear cowboy boots with it because I'll look too like homely. I don't know if that's what I'm looking for. I was wearing. I'll look too like not what I'm going for. Um, I have to wear this with heels, but this is like, well, when my boots are a little bit less out, this is like something I wear to like a park house event or like something a little bit more like sophisticated and mature. It's from LPA. It's super cute. Um, even just like a cute little brunch or like dinner or something, um, like dinner party. Like I think it's super cute. So anyways, what I got it, the vision I got it for originally is not what I'm going to end up wearing it as, but I actually think it's like really like classy. So I love that. Okay, in a really exciting outfit. This is gonna be my live show outfit. Um, I had another one, but it didn't get here in time. I ordered it like three weeks ago. Whatever. Um, my pants are always in your wing. I got them on Revolve. The corset is Princess Polly. They're kind of like a little bit tight around my thighs, but they like end up fitting well. Like more in the back of my closet right now because of this try on, but like look. Like they feel weird and then they look cute and then they like feel weird but my stylist Brittany um put this together and I just added the shoes just now I'll have her Instagram she's a good follow she has like a ton of like just like style like outfit info on her Instagram page but I think it's super cute I'm like wondering sitting how it's gonna look like is it gonna look like I have like a baby or something just the way that like poofs at the stomach you know like I wish I had like a table you know what let's go try it in my room all right I like the outfit I mean honestly like we're not there's no way we can even change anything anyways but like sitting let's have to make sure and then going like this it's just the pants look weird here, but I mean like what are you gonna do? Like I feel like it's fine Like it has to be fine. I don't know my body has just been changing a ton lately Like I'll talk about this in another vlog and I've heard that this happens a lot when you're 25 But like I don't even like I honestly just look totally different than I did two months ago And I have really realized it recently, which is fine like that happens bodies change whatever, but it's still like I don't know, I just like don't, it doesn't feel like me necessarily. But anyways, I like it a lot. I think the outfit's super cute. We're just gonna have to make it work and hopefully these kind of like stretch out a little bit around my thighs. Um, They're not like the most flattering on the butt, I will say. Like they're fine, but they're not like crazy. Yeah, I don't like how the pockets are like so much to the sides. I wish they were like more like here. But with this kind of material, I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, the Okai ones that are like less than a third of this price are better quality than the Alexander Wang pants. Like these, I'm not like crazy impressed by the quality um, But with that being said, the Okine is like really really good quality So I guess that's kind of unfair, but I mean these are always gonna rain at the same time So anyways, cute, have a little patch Alright, the more that I'm like, you know, walking around and looking at it Like I like it better in person than I do on camera, honestly But like, I love the look Imagine me with a mic in hand Hello, hello, hello Like, it's just cute, you know But like it looks better in person than on camera Which is unfortunate because I'm gonna need these photos to look good, so. I like it, we're sticking with it. 
course most in jello i could cry right now coconut has never in a million years chewed up anything well not chewed up anything she's never chewed up clothes she doesn't do any of that i have all my clothes all on the floor in here i go to my room when i leave this outfit on the floor my 300 dollars pair of alexander wang's pants that i finally as you guys know have an outfit for the live show that i before i leave she chews a hole in the butt look at this look at this so i am going to order another freaking pair of these pants and have them sent to the hotel because like what else am i gonna do i, I like there's nothing i can't even risk it and it's a big deal to me so like whatever i want to and I called my mom to complain about it and she was just like not feeding into it. So whatever. Anyways, I'm gonna wear this outfit. Um, okay and pants, launching later this month, this shirt, sneakers, another like day that I'm in New York. I just like literally cannot believe that happened to me, like at all. Alright, y'all, it's now at 9:40, and I have pretty much finished packing. I have no idea what's going on outside my house, but I have my Stony Clover bag, so cute. That's like my Fort Worth stuff. I have a lot, and this is for like the week in New York. This will go on my carry-on. I got like Bread Winning Housewife tops for all of my like best friends who are coming from Dallas. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna finish packing in the morning because I'm gonna have the rest of the stuff here. You know what? I might want to put in some workout stuff because I might, I don't, maybe I'll do a workout. I'll put like one set in, we'll see. All right, I have one set. So I have a few things up here. I have my um, other purse I'm gonna bring. I think I'm only gonna bring two bags. I'm only bring like, three or four bags whenever I go, but I'm trying to be better. I need to finish my packing stuff. I also self tan, so I look like, you know, not my best self. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna look crazy when I show up with this tomorrow to Fort Worth for like a 36 hour trip, but uh, hopefully they don't see me and I won't have to explain it, um, but it's for a full week, okay? I just practice self care by cleaning out my carry on bag, which is the Oka and Toe in my purse. I'm getting this stuff ready to go for a charger. I'm also gonna bring my like array bullet pills, array calm pills. Oh, and then these hangover pills. I don't think I'll drink enough anyways, but just in case, this is what I'm supposed to be using right now for my skin. Um, I'm just putting together like a little perfume thing. I might put my jewelry in here actually now that I think about it. So maybe I'll bring that upstairs with that stuff. And then, oh, isn't this bag cute? I got it in PR today. I cannot remember where it's from. It's like a PR company sent it to me, but so cute. I'll have it linked below. And then also, this is like so cool. So... Jane Rosen wrote, I loved Nine Women, One Dress, and I loved Eliza Starts a Rumor. That's the first book of hers I read, and I just got a deal with her on the podcast. So I'm reading this book early. It's not out as of yet. It comes out later this month, and then I'm doing a little book club, which I'm really excited because like, Aileen Hildebrand gave it a great review. Someone said Beach Read meets The Notebook, and Beach Read is like one of my favorite books ever. Katie Couric. Like One day I want to be someone that's like there, you know? Anyways, I'm really excited to read it. I'm already reading a book on my Kindle, so I'm hoping that I like finish a ton of that tonight and then I read this on the plane or something because tomorrow we are going to the pool, so I feel like I'll have some reading time. But anyways, I'm really excited. This is super cute. I think I'm going to let my mom keep it. It's so cute. Um, but I normally go to the pool with her and like I'm 24, but my mom is like who packs the pool bag. So like, it's fine. We're fine. Um, but yeah, anyways, I'm going to finish packing probably in the morning. Fitz wants to go outside, so I will be right back. Hi, guys. Oh, wow. Just... Wow. Um, okay, well, I really shouldn't have watched that JLo documentary because it's currently 10 p.m. and I haven't even gotten to my computer work. And I need to finish that tonight. I, I don't have that much, maybe like two hours, and I wanted to read. I was gonna wake up and work out, but I'm not supposed to sweat tomorrow, so I was gonna at least go to walk. Oh, no, totally cool. No, seriously. No, it, oh, I'm sorry for getting in your way. I really am. We are on the outs tonight, coconut. We are not getting along. I have to order <laughs> those pants now that I think about it. So I need to do that right now. I have a lot of random like stuff I need to do. Um, I'm drinking my water. Update, I made so many orders of clothes for New York. Not a single order came in of the ones that I really wanted to come. So, you know, it's fine. It's fine. We're fine. But um, it's really something. I'm going to get going, um, but I'm pretty much ready. I'll finish up in the morning. Okay. And I really help women step into their purpose, into their money, into their pleasure, and their life from this place of like juiciness, yummy overflow. And I became really passionate about doing this work basically to help like good hearted women make money doing what they love. And even for women who don't have businesses, just like really learn how to manifest and receive more out of life 